Producers, Scalar EQ now has key switching or scale switching built into it. It also has sidechain capabilities, input and output limiters and gain sliders, peak and RMS metering. You can now fully hide the panels as well so you can completely see the spectrum analyzer, not to mention a ton of new presets. And the best part, this is a free update if you already have Scalar EQ. So in the rest of this video, let's check out these new features in more detail. All right, so let's just jump right in with the key switching or scale switching. You have three different switches now, and it's very, very simple. So I've got a track here, and the first part of the track is C minor. So I can either do detect, or I can come in here and just hit C minor, and that will update. And then I'm just gonna flip over to the second switch, and then the next part of my song is in D minor. So I'd come in in D minor, great. And now if I switch back and forth, you'll see that those are switching. Now I can come in and make my boost if I wanted to, change my filter type, go back and forth, and you'll see that those will update as we switch between the two keys. To do that in your DAW, you're just gonna use automation. You can see here I'm in the Scalar EQ in Ableton Live, and then I'm down here at Scale Switch. And when I'm hovering over it, you'll see that it's a one. That corresponds to this. And then I'm gonna come up to two. So if I play this, you can just watch it switch when it crosses over that automation line. And there we go. That's how easy it is to do scale switching now right inside of Scalar 2. All right, the next big feature to draw your attention to is the external sidechain input capabilities for the dynamic filter nodes inside of Scalar EQ. Down here in Ableton Live in the sidechain, if I choose something like my drum loop, and then I activate the sidechain button here, and then maybe bring this down, we can change it to a low shelf just so we can better see and hear what's going on. All we need to do is make sure the dynamics mode is on. And you'll see every time my kick comes in, I'm getting reduction. Now, if I wanna use the percussion as well, I can really turn down the threshold. And if I wanna remove the percussion and just get the kick, of course. And if I reduce it even further, we'll get less of a carve out of it. And that's gonna work the same with most of the filter nodes inside of Scalar EQ. I believe it won't work with low cut. Yeah, you can't turn on the dynamics for the low cut, but that makes sense, right? Anyway, let's keep moving. Another new feature is we can completely hide these two floating menus. Of course, we could always minimize both of them, but if we wanna completely see the frequency spectrum, we just gotta hit this button down here, and now we've got it in all its glory. A Couple of other really cool things are we have limiters for the input and output. So for this bass line, for example, if I solo it. You can hear that we're warming that up with saturation from the, I believe we call that a soft clip limiter. Uh, David said that to me, but you can't quote me on that. But either way, we're definitely warming up the signal and it's just great to have full access to the volume for the input and the output inside of Scalar EQ. The sliders here and the limiters are new, and also the VU meters behind here are now showing you peak level and RMS. So the lighter gray is the RMS signal, and the darker gray behind it will be your peak level. And the last thing to touch on are the incredible number of new presets that have been added from the incredible Scalar EQ team. It is a free download if you already have Scalar EQ, and if you don't, you should definitely check it out.